Guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So last episode, what we worked on was this script, uh, this script, uh, this strip, uh, from basically these schools here all the way to this part. So we designed all the different kinds of services and stuff like that. Though we're missing a few things that we could probably add in, like the post office and stuff. I don't think that's covered yet. Yeah, well, this whole area doesn't have a, uh post office so we could add something in here uh, maybe two of them I'm not sure if we can okay that's like a facility I'm not sure if that actually helps with um, all of them or not but we could maybe add a post office in this area um, other things that we worked on was basically just making kind of like a tiered level thing uh, up here. I wanted to do that so we could expand the city and stuff. Though I think I might expand this up a little bit more. Just because it's not exactly looking like a cliff over there. So we'll see if we can't do that quickly. Just kind of bring that up a little bit. We have enough soil, so I'm not worried about it. Probably not going to expand out that other direction, so we'll basically just be using this um, for our multi-level tier thing. Okay, so blend that in a little bit. Yeah, that'll be look. That'll look a lot nicer, I think. We can kind of adjust it a little bit with the uh, terrain. Something like that. There we go. Kind of blended in a little bit. Hard to see now that it's night, but it should be fine. All right, so one of the other things that I wanted to do was basically get um, more of the city developed on this side. So we have all this uh, section over here that we can basically go up to. And I want to see if we can't get a another wedge started, but this time going that way. Um, our avenue is going this way, though we might want to, I'm just kind of debating if I want to put the avenue here because that might cause traffic congestion here. So we might put it a little bit further down, maybe about here, a couple intersections down from there. And then that should align that a little bit better too.
I so finally daytime I can finally see what we're doing and I wanted to go ahead and put a uh, pedestrian way in here uh, so we can basically you know have some extra space not congestion for cars and stuff like that I did add a access point over on the back side here where there is um, bicycle lane that can go through though so there is a, there will be a little bit can chat uh, traffic congestion on that particular road just because people can go from over here although I'm not sure there's much over here that they really need to go to we have that playground but we can always put more parks around so I don't think it will be like too big of an issue all right so I already got the zone set up we just need um, to figure out what tab the uh, thing is under I can't remember I think it's this one and I think we might have unlocked some stuff. Uh, we got garbage. Uh, garbage service point. Might be able to fit that over here, actually. Yeah, we'll be able to fit, fit that over here. And there is a small service or cargo service point, which might be able to fit right in there if we uh, put that there. And large pedestrian service point. So I'm not sure what that does. If it does both um, cargo and garbage. But uh, we got both facilities I think here. That should be good enough for that. We can decorate the space maybe with some parks or something like that. What, what's remaining of it. Um, not sure if there is a tab for that. Maybe there's some parks we can put down. Small little garden looks good. Maybe fit that over here. And I'm not sure if we can fit. Oh, we can we can actually move that over and put parking right there. That would be perfect. Okay, so if we go to the parking tab and put one little thing of parking right here although I think that might be blocked by the thing but people can still get on to there I think just fine it should have proper connection I'm hoping that it will it, it looks really good the way it is though so that would be fine all right so let's go ahead and see if we can't find some other things that we can put in here uh, I think there's some really small parks that we can fit Okay, so we got...
So I almost forgot that we needed to fix this little intersection thing here. So basically what's been going on is trains have been going through and basically blocking this entire intersection up. So we needed to get um, all this traffic under, I think, and then we'll bring it up on the other side. I think that might work better. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a cliff here, so we might be able to do that quite efficiently. So. We'll see if we can't do that right now, just to fix this intersection. I didn't think about it when I was putting it in that time, so... Probably could help if we were to go a little bit under. Probably don't even need to go that much under. Um, just enough to get it underneath. Not sure. We might have to go over, actually. Let's see if we can't get it sort of sorted out. Okay, so it doesn't want to go exactly under either. Hmm. Might have to make the um, rails go over, maybe? Oh, I didn't realize there was a piece of road there still. Okay, so we'll bring that all the way up to there. That should help with that part. Uh, we might need a part for them to turn. Hard to see what direction that is, like that. And then we're going to need to connect those lines up, so... Probably want to bridge over. I'm not sure if it'll let us. Ooh, just barely.
right, so we got quite a bit of stuff done uh, today. I wanted to get a whole chunk done, so we got that done today. And then we also fixed the rail system that we needed to fix over here. So traffic's flowing a lot better now. Um, there's not as much congestion due to the rails being directly on the... Um, the highway there so I'm pretty happy with that I kind of blended it a little bit more so it kind of heaps over so it's not too hard on the trains but um, that seems to be working functional we are kind of losing and gaining money at the same time like it, it comes and it goes in waves um, I did uh, do some stock exchange stuff so we could um, get a little bit more money just to kind of keep us above the thing I'm not sure what's causing the um, amount of money to be dropping like this, but I'll have to be like try to look into it and see what's going on uh, Probably next episode, but um, We got a little industry area over here and a toy factory the only other small building that we have that we can actually place around um, They produce toys and stuff we, we require paper planks and plastics so and then I got some just some general industry over here and just a small cluster of them not a huge amount but still something and then commercial to separate the pollution and then residential and then we got a pedestrian um, section over here I still need to name it something uh, different but um, basically just a little pedestrian residential and commercial area so um, just regular zones for commercial and uh, residential nothing too fancy but outside of that uh, that's pretty much all that we worked on um, utilities wise we got the heating underneath the roads it kind of fluctuates between them having enough and not having enough so I'm not sure we need another boiler or not i mean this whole area is basically being boiled so uh, we might need another um pumping station possibly um electricity we're doing great for that so we're good for a while uh if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out